Do you know why I'm so sexy? Because I drink a <laughs> lot of Pepsi. It's good Turkish food. Good, good, good Turkish Very food. Very good. good. Turkish kebab. Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to another episode here, currently in Antalya, Turkey. We are currently sitting in the city center here of Antalya. However, in this episode, we're going to show you some of the best places and some of the cool places that you should visit when you come to Antalya. Also, is it actually worth you traveling here? So make sure you stick around till the end of this video because we're going to be showing you every part of Antalya. So you can decide if you want to visit or not. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let's get the video started. And let's go. Guys, we're currently starting over at the marina side and as you can see we've got quite a few restaurants here some are open and some are closed it's around quarter to six the sun is setting in about an hour or so here and i recommend when you are in antalya probably a great time to come out is around now because to be honest in the day it is very very hot so especially if you're in a town you want to come over to the marina side because you're going to be able to sit by the water here just like all these people and have some coffee and some food just to get your afternoon or evening started. So as you can see here guys we've got quite a crowd here coming up to 6 p.m. and everybody's coming out enjoying some uh, let's say afternoon, uh, afternoon tea, afternoon dinner with that spectacular view of the marina just down there which is exactly where we're going to head down to next and show you guys a little bit of what you can see when you get down to the marina. So guys what you're looking at here is the second largest port here in the southern part of Turkey and you're going to see loads of beautiful yachts just down there and some restaurants as well which I'm going to take you to also you have an absolutely gorgeous backdrop of those stunning mountains absolutely gorgeous maybe come to this spot right here probably around sunset time because you're going to get such a gorgeous view All right, guys, we're now just heading into the old bazaar, which is the way that's going to lead you Hello, to the marina you. side. Thank yeah, you, thank you. And uh, one thing that's going to be very apparent is there's going to be loads of market stalls, loads of places to buy some nice Turkish delights, some sweets, some gifts, and also things for yourself that you wanna, might want to take back with you, which I'll actually share a little bit more in this video. If you are into your brands, then you're absolutely gonna love it here in Antalya and I'll tell you why. As you can see right behind me here, they have got your proper, proper knockoff brands. As you imagine, like Louis Vuitton, Gucci and all that stuff. And to be honest, they're all great quality. And if you are a fan of those type of brands, then there might be something that you might wanna save some money for and come and get it here. Because as you can see here, they've got all the shoes, and inside they've got all kind of the bags yeah, and all that spices, type of stuff tea. and spices oh. And the sexy uh, man. oh he's got a good british accent yeah. this guy so this dude here he sent some spices and this is like turkish and there's the tonight. natural uh, tea natural tea yeah natural tea right there is the red bull tea red bull tea. yes natural red bull tea wow. and the pomegranate tea wow. sultan tea with 21 mix ginger ginseng right. eucalyptus mint saffron wow. this is the mango tea yeah okay it's a good I want to you can try now, bro. First, mm. all right, let's, 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 let's try the red bull tea. Oh, wow, you need to just one big glass scoop. of water and okay. one spoon right. to the mix. How am I gonna get a lot of energy now? I do this as a natural test. Please tell is it like red bull or not. All right, let's see if it's oh, it smells like red bull. That's a red bull, bro. It's a natural drink and not any acid. Mm. Really good. That's mm. really good. Yeah, if you want to try some, lady, please, I will give you all. Yeah, I'll just try this. Try, don't worry. try this, yeah. Really, what do you think? literally tastes exactly like red bull but none of the rubbish just no, clean no of course it's good stuff of Amazing. course so has it got a lot of caffeine in it it is just natural taste inside ah uh, just natural, natural flavor natural. The wow. you do get some caffeine inside. maybe really once i drink this i'm gonna grow wings like red bull gives you wings you can fly bro later don't worry be happy Mm. Cheers, guys. Yeah, Thank you, man. It's good. Well, maybe I'll uh, come back and get some of you later. Anyway, you will come. Thank hey, you, man. Appreciate. Who, it. What's your name? Who look at me? Who watch me? Who see me? 
Welcome to my shop. What's your yeah. shop's name? I will make 20% cheap. I <laughs> love it. I will That's find you. <laughs> yes. What's your name? My name is Genghis. Genghis, Yad. I'm Genghis in the old town spice and tea shop. Awesome. Don't worry, be happy. Do you know why I'm so sexy? Because I drink a <laughs> lot of Pepsi. Don't worry. See you later, man. Thank See you. you, okay? Take care. Yeah. Good to meet you. <laughs> Guys, this, you know you're going to have a good day when you meet somebody like Genghis that just gave us some Red Bull tea. Right. Yeah, I feel high as a kite. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, but it's loads of energy all of a sudden after that natural Red Bull tea. I didn't get some right now, but I will go back there later in this vlog and I'll probably I'm going to go buy some of that because I love all the things Red Bull gives you, but I don't like what comes with it. So that's clean. Anyway, we are now over at the harbour. I think the guy gave us more energy than the Red Bull itself. He was just absolutely yeah. hilarious. Just uh, positive vibes. Great. He's just a great character. Great energy. Let me know in the comment, guys, if you know him. If you're Turkish and you live here, if you know him, let me know. Make sure you go and see him. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> we are now over at the Yacht Harbour, where, as you can see, we've got some beautiful restaurants and cafeterias here to my left, as well as these kind of pirate ship looking boats here to my right and uh, very very colorful and I'm not sure if these kind of have daily excursions yeah it's, it's, I think it's, they it's do. for tourism yeah they take you to different areas like waterfalls in Lara right. and different excursions so yeah. yeah so maybe if you guys want to fancy doing that stuff there's plenty of that here because again if you probably know Turkey and Talia is a hot tourist spot so they're f full of those type of things when you come here Guys, I just found some new friends. He's basically a pirate. Can you see him? He's just standing up there. What's that? Like and... Hey guys, I think he said, if you're still watching the video now... Sorry? Like, oh, he said like and subscribe. If you're still watching till now. All right, thank you, boss. Yeah. So guys, this is actually uh, our first impression of this marina area. And to be honest, I would definitely recommend coming here for sunset because the sun is currently setting right now just beyond those stunning mountains over there and you've got that gorgeous orange light here where you can just enjoy maybe a drink or a cup of coffee at one of those restaurants back there because I think it's going to be a great spot to watch the sunset here in Antalya. So guys, we're just heading up to Old Town now. I'm going to show you a little bit of that area, what it's like. However, on the way today, you're still walking past the Old Bazaar and as you can see, you've got some gorgeous looking bags here and they are knockoffs but very very good ones got like bags shoes belts wallets and a little fat lady dog <laughs> hello mate So guys, we're now heading into the area of Kalichi Old Town and what you'll notice when you come here are these gorgeous styles of uh, buildings as well as you've even got the tram running through the Old Town here just like that. And by the way guys, that is running so if that's something that you guys wanted to do when you come here, I'll probably recommend it because it's going to be a nice way to get around the town. However, a bit of uh, information about this place is essentially where... It's basically like a cultural heritage yeah. and uh, you know when you walk through the whole Old Town you really feel the spiritual and historical vibes mixing all together it's yeah. a really nice experience so yeah it's got a, a, got a lot of personality best way to put it guys you will feel like you are walking into something that's been here for quite a long time and as i'm talking we've got the tram literally just coming here now and i feel like i'm in a movie right now check this out so what to expect when you come down this area guys is loads of almost like Turkish high street shops and then again they've got these uh, expensive looking coats and brands where a lot of people come and do shopping they've got spice shops here where they sell Turkish delight and in this shop specifically again more Turkish spices and I guess what's next more Turkish sweets one thing that I find really really crazy here they've got dedicated shops that sell knockoff stuff I mean the shop name will basically say like Rolex and inside they sell loads of like fake Rolexes, Brentlin watches, like all types of brands you can imagine and try to do that anywhere in Europe you will straight away get shut down so it's just crazy how they can do that here so openly. So guys we are walking through Old Town now and this street here is a super colourful street because we've got literally restaurants and bars, we've got coffee shops all around here and we've got these gorgeous umbrellas which are just overlooking the whole of this area as well it just gives it that kind of nice outdoor garden feel 
which is really really nice so again this is in the area of the Kornati so yeah come and check it out So guys, we're now walking through Old Town here and uh, as Dace was saying, it feels like a bit of a maze. You can literally just walk around, get lost. That's probably what I recommend doing if you guys are coming here because one of the best ways to find some hidden spots and nice things to do is one, a YouTube video like this one and two, also just getting lost when you travel because that's when you stumble across some of the coolest and nicest things. But overall, this area is super, super nice. It's like got like a modern twist with a bit of a, what would you say? Like a... It's very historical, but it is also very uh, vibey, you know? So yeah, it's, it's a mix of everything. Yeah, it's got a good vibe. It's a bit quiet at the moment, bearing in mind it's a Friday, but I don't think uh, much is happening right here. But you would just have a lot of restaurants and even like some carpet shops and small things and places to check out when you are here. Turkish people do come out very late. The dinner and everything is really late, especially the old town area. You know, you come at 10 at night and it's full everywhere. You can barely get a table. So yeah, uh, be prepared to, you know, stay up very late when in Antalya. And this place here that you see to my left guys, which is called Roots, and it says focus on quality. It's actually kind of like a bar slash nightclub that they have here in Antalya. So if that's something that you want to do, you might want to come and check it out. It's open from 4 p.m. till 4 a.m. So a super late one. So as I said, it was a bit quiet over there. It's definitely livened up more so around this bit here. And that is more so towards the nightclub area, which is called Roots, which I just showed you a moment ago. We've got bikes running past, bicycles. We've got tour companies here. We've got music going on. We've got restaurants. We've got everything around this area. So it's getting more and more lively. And I've got to try one of these Turkish kebabs while I'm here because they've got them literally everywhere. And I've heard that they are super, super tasty. We've got the tunes pumping here to my right at a place called Mount of Maltflix. So not Netflix, Maltflix. <laughs> So guys, if you're looking for a night out here in Antalya, they got you covered. Come to Old Town and come to this street here. It's literally two minutes from Roots. We've got bars, we've got restaurants, we've got music, we've got everything going on around here and definitely got a really, really nice vibe around here. If you're looking to have a good weekend here in Antalya, quite hectic and it's only uh, 7 p.m. Yeah, it seems like uh, Turkey in general never sleeps because we were over in uh, Istanbul and it was literally like 2 a.m. walking back one evening after having some dinner and literally this shopping area was absolutely packed and as uh, Dace was saying earlier Turkish people obviously love to come out very very late here because it probably makes sense because the daytime is quite hot here so this is what I mean exactly when you walk around Old Town you, we literally was just randomly walking and we found this kind of like uh, more modern side to it and we've got some more like juice shops fruit shops and just different side of things that you will see here when you come to Antalya Guys, this is called Adrian's Gate here. And this is probably one of the most important, I like to say, historic sites here of Antalya. And basically because... Uh, well, yeah, the clue is in the name. Hadrian was a, a Roman emperor and this arch basically was dedicated to him. And yeah. it's literally the oldest site in Antalya city. Yeah, so guys, as you're walking around, it would definitely be nice to come here and maybe catch a few shots, even some videos, because it is quite spectacular. It's literally right in the heart of Old Town here in Antalya. Literally just like in the middle of nowhere well this is something you'll find in a lot of places in turkey there is so much history just plotted around so almost not surprised that this is literally just in the middle here of old town so guys look at these trees up there i'm all of a sudden now in california hollywood only joking <laughs> this is actually the more modern site to antalya you've got really really modern shops around here as well as some uh, cool places to eat some nice places to check out and that's also where you're going to find adrian's gate just there overall this place does have such a cool vibe i mean it's reaching towards evening time now sunset has essentially set it so more people are going to start coming out because the weather is more cool and they're going to start enjoying more of the nightlife of what Antalya has to offer. 
Now guys, if you're wondering what uh, Antalya or Turkey is like in general when it comes to safety, now we've been in Turkey now for close to almost one month and throughout the whole time of walking around the streets and being out at night time and returning home at very late hours, we've felt quite at ease and um, there's always been a lot of people out and about, a lot of light, so if you're worried about the safety element here, I wouldn't worry too much because a lot of the locals are friendly and if you needed to get around, they'll kind of help you. However, yeah, just overall, if you're worried about the safety element, I wouldn't worry too much. It doesn't matter what corner you go to, guys, you're going to find Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Ralph Lauren, Montclair, all the brands, they got it here. Even the winter stuff, well, literally, they look really, really good as well. So this is guys Kesik Minaret or so-called broken minaret. Uh, from what I understand, um, it used to be a church and a mosque church and a mosque as the ruling power has changed. Um, and in the end, Arab invasion demolished the, the mosque or the church and only this minaret survived. Now, you know what they say in uh, Turkey in general, there are a lot of, uh, let's say, British people that travel here just like myself. And they've even got an Edinburgh pub or eat and drink place which is one of the most liveliest places here and I'm probably not surprised because I know why that is because there's just a lot of Brits here so they will like to come and have a drink over at their Edinburgh and guys let's also not forget the Irish they even have a Dublin Inn here so if you're Irish and fancy come and having some of your lovely Guinness or even a great grub they've got that right next to Edinburgh Guys, we're now going to head over to a grill place now just to have some dinner um, and you're going to go meet one of our friends called Naveen which you may have seen if you've been keeping up with the vlogs over in Turkey she was over in Istanbul and hopefully get some nice Turkish uh, grub down us so guys when you come out here in the modern side of uh, Antalya you have got all these really, really cool, funky restaurants, just like these. You've got like a Mexican place, you've got this place here, which is very, very nice. It's called Luna Garden, and it's all about four or five different restaurants, as you can just see there, serving drinks, food, sushi, you name it. They've got music playing, and it's just a bit of a great vibe just to come out here and chill, maybe start off your night here, grab some food down you, and uh, enjoy a good vibe. Right, guys we have made it to our dinner spot here which is called Pasa del Bar it looks really really nice it's literally in the middle of a very quiet street however we've heard that the grill here is really really tasty so let's go and dig in Hi. 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 Oh. YouTube yeah. yeah how are you hello good what's your name Fine. Uh, my name is Halil. Halil, yeah? I heard there's good Turkish food. Good, good, good Turkish food. Very good. Turkish kebab. All right, let's go. Welcome to Antalya. Thank you, brother. Okay, guys, so we've got all the chefs here preparing all the incredible, incredible food. We've got Ismail here, which he is on the kebabs, yes? Kebab. About Adana kebab? Yeah. Okay, so he's making the famous Adana kebab here in Turkey. And guys, when you do come here, make sure you order the Adana kebab because they're made fresh here. <laughs> As you can see, it's very, very busy here, but I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a rundown of their kitchen because this place is actually a hot spot here in Antalya. And this is why, because they make literally absolutely everything super super fresh they got a huge bakery here where they're actually mincing all the meat and creating these kind of like pizza type of things but it's supposed to be one of the freshest here in Antalya and if not probably the whole of Turkey and now we are joined by Naveen as well and Hi. You would have seen her over in our Istanbul vlog and we're gonna show you how to eat all that incredible food that I just showed you. And guys, one thing that you must try when you come to Turkey is this kind of, a, it's basically a yogurt drink. It's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. However, it does go very, very well with the kebabs. It's just basically yogurt stirred up and put with a bit of salt inside and a little bit of water. And they call it Ariane here. Essentially, it's just yogurt with salt mixed up. It's really good. It's just one of those things that you have to try. Again, remember, it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but do try it. Okay, guys.
guys, that Turkish pizza thing that I just showed you a minute ago where they were creating, this is the final product and it's super thin and I'm gonna give it a little taste. Mmm, amazing, like a very, very thin pizza. Got a bit of a beef in there as well, some tomatoes, some spices. Enjoying it? Loving it. Yeah. Cheers, guys. All right, guys, and we just finished our dinner now in this incredible place. One thing I'll recommend if you come here, definitely go for the pizza style things because they are super, super fresh. Anyway, this is where I'm going to end tonight's vlog. I hope you enjoyed the first impressions here of Antalya. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you all on the next episode. Thank you.